I am not going to do a tutorial, so don't expect me to dip any titanium into the solution and get it all working for you. But I'm going to explain how to anodize titanium in detail with the stuff that you have at home. The cheapest way uh, to actually anodize titanium. We're going to start with the baking soda. A buck twenty for a box like this. Uh, pretty cheap. I could have gotten borax, but borax for a big huge box about this tall and this wide was about seven bucks and I thought to myself, you know, baking soda will work or should work. And uh, I did read somewhere that baking soda will work. So I went ahead with the baking soda. Maybe borax works better. I will try that as well. But for now, baking soda, cheap way to go. Good way to go. Rubber gloves, so you don't get uh, electrocuted. <clears throat> Wires. I actually bought a uh, two feet or three feet of wire. It cost me about a buck. Stripped it. Took two wires out of it. Hooked up the um, alligator clips to it on both sides. Alligator clips were about two fifty for four of them. You know, you don't need anything fancy. You can probably get some fancy stuff at uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, I forgot. Probably Micro Center or something. You can get alligator clips that, you know, all of the fancy stuff for about seven bucks for six of them or so. I th that's what I saw last time I was there. Batteries, as many as you want. I, I uh, with my pocket clip in my previous video, I started with three and worked my way up. Container, this is where I did my pocket clip. This is where I did the liner, um, the frame lock for my uh, Benchmade 755 MPR. So this is it. That's all you need. And water, of course. That's about it, though. I did, for this little thing, I did about, I filled it up all the way up, up top, and did about two tablespoons of the baking soda. Stirred it well, and that worked really well. Um, I did, I filled this up up to here. About, yeah, about here. And I did about... Uh, what was it, about five, six tablespoons of baking soda, and that worked really well as well. Um, now, I, I hooked up this to the positive end, which is this right here. It's a smaller one. That's positive. That'd be negative. Hook this part, this alligator clip, to the positive, hook this one up to the negative, and then at the end over here, right up here, I put a cotton swab. Well, actually, cotton, like a you know, like a little roll of cotton, and uh, I ha had it hanging down to about here, and that was the only part that was touching the water when I did the anodizing. So I put it up here, up to here, and the rest of it, uh, the actual cotton was hanging down, touching the water. That's the only thing that was touching the water. On the other side, the positive, I hooked up the actual titanium, one to the positive, and one alligator on the titanium, holding it and dipping, dipping it into the water without the actual alligator clip touching the water. You don't want any steel touching the water because it will actually not work as well. It will take a longer time or it will not work at all. And uh, I had to learn the hard way. I wasted about an hour trying to figure out, you know, looking at those videos and trying to figure out why my stuff is not anodizing. But I finally figured it out. Um, and um, that's about it, really. You don't want the steel touching the water. Make sure that you wear the rubber gloves. I kind of electrocuted myself with three batteries, three 9-volt ba batteries yesterday. It was kind of cool, actually. <laughs> anyway, um, and uh, this is what came out at the end. I made mine uh, blue. All the way blue, all the way through. And there is some purple in there, of course, because I, went, I, I layered it. I had to do a... Uh, 
and then three batteries. Three batteries worked for me for the actual pocket clip. Three batteries got me the blue right here. But three batteries did not get me the blue on the larger piece of the titanium. And so I went up. I went up to four. And then I went to five. Five was the perfect amount of batteries to get this blue. Sorry. Uh, and then, you know, from here, the, if you look at the pocket clip, from the bottom to top is how I layer the batteries. I went with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nine and ten pretty much turned out the same. It's that lavender up top. But uh, I think it was worth, the, worth my while. I was kind of tired of that gray. I just got this knife and I was already tired of the gray, uh, you know, color of the titanium. Although it's cool, but I kind of like something else. Now I went with the blue because the blue is at the bottom of the color spectrum of uh, uh, anodizing titanium. So now I can actually go up in color. I can actually go, you know, to a lighter blue, to a yellow, to a goldish, to a reddish, kind of like a copper. Now this is copper, but there's more. Eh, it's like a lighter copper color up here. I can actually change my color of the uh, frame lock right now. It's blue now. I'm sure in about a week I will get tired of the blue and go to like a, a lighter blue or a greenish. And I can go up, but I will probably stop at the yellow. I do like the yellow. And depending on what kind of uh, scales I make, G10 scales I make for this knife, I might change the color. I might not. You never know. If you have any suggestions on what I should do with actual scales, please feel free you know, to tell me, criticize me, comment, rate, subscribe, all those things. Thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions, let me know.